Gunsmoke was released in 1988 on the NES in North America. You play as Bill, who is the only law enforcement in the town of Hicksville, and you need to clear it out of bandits. It's a pretty simple premise. It is a top-down shooter. You can shoot diagonally left from right and forward. Now where the game differs is the forward shooting mechanic is used by hitting both A and B at the same time. This be can be difficult because as you hit both A and B, sometimes you'll shoot left and right. And if your hands are large or small, and depending on what style of NES controller you're using, that can be really difficult. What is also different about this game is points and money are the same thing. And so essentially, you'll run into a few townspeople throughout the game. You can buy weapons, ammunition, horses, and so forth from them, which adds a different gameplay element to it. Now, thirdly, where this game differs is the wanted posters. Each level has a wanted poster and a bandit as your end boss. And to acquire these wanted posters, you either have to know where they are in the level in order to acquire them, or you have to run into those individuals selling things and purchase these wanted posters. If you never get one of these wanted posters, then you're essentially damned in the game. You're going to be playing the same level, the same screens, over and over and over again. Now while that's great for acquiring more points and money, it can become extremely, extremely tedious. You're going to have fun with this game if you like top-down shooters. Um, and if you like westerns, you might like it as well. But it's difficult. It's so difficult, in fact, that it took me, one of the bosses, two hours to kill him. Um, if I had a choice, I would use a game Genie on it. That might help. But by the end of the game, the closing story really isn't that drawing. And so, you're really playing it for the gameplay. Uh, you know, and, and that's pretty solid. Uh, it's nowhere near as tight as 1942, but it's still fun. If I was going to give this game a score between 1 and 10, I'd give it a 7. It's good for a weekend.